that he's kind of doing an assessment of where he's at. Things had gotten so out of hand that I was now a virtual prisoner in a psychiatric ward, ward, and the next step was four weeks in a rehab unit. I knew that my life was at a crossroads and that I badly needed directions or alcohol was going to take everything from me. Already my self-respect was gone and it was a miracle that I still had a job and the love of a wonderful woman and two fine children. God help me, I thought as tears began to roll down my cheeks. I said the words aloud for the first time in years in a desperate plea for help. Later that night, as I lay wide awake in my bed at the psychiatric institute while Bob snored across the room, I could hardly wait for dawn and the start of a new day. I felt suffused with energy and alive in a way that I had not felt in years. I also knew I was being given a third chance at life. And although apprehensive that I would not avail myself of it, I longed to succeed. I suddenly realized that the compulsion to drink, which for years had occupied most of my waking hours, had miraculously been lifted from me. Now if I could just get some sleep, I thought, I would truly be a new man. And now he goes into uh, group treatment center, rehab, and self-conscious at being signaled out. I could feel the color rising in my cheeks, but before I knew what I was doing, I had blurted out, hi, I'm Lou, and I'm an alcoholic. For years, I had known what that was, but until that moment, I had never acknowledged my alcoholism. And if you don't own the problem, you're not gonna fix the problem. So that's the point where he's at. It's the first time in his life he's actually recognized that and owned up to it so that he could actually start addressing the problem. 